Um, yeah, so here we go. No segue. Or, I don't know, what? How many hours did you Boy, spend? Boy, we spent a lot of time uh, talking how many about hours games did, on the how podcast. How many hours did like you spend playing hours. Warframe? Uh, hundreds. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you could have spent that time Can you fit a hundreds working. into one week? No, I can't. That's actually impossible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dan Hauser comes out in an interview. And so, all right. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back us up a few weeks. People might have noticed back there's been a shit, a shit ton of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 previews because they're giving out, uh, you know, early early access to you people. You got to give those things out early if you want right? to try to so, beat it in time. Uh, you know, industry peeps are being like, your horse's balls shrink in the cold. And when you go up in the cold, the, your guy buttons his jacket and... All this wild ass fucking feature bloat, right? That's like, oh my god, this is gonna be the greatest thing ever. And so Dan Hauser does an interview with I forget who the fuck, but whatever. He's bragging about how cool the game is. The game's so awesome. And then to kind of explain why the game is so awesome, he goes, "We've been pulling hundred hour weeks down here at Rockstar, and we're with the teams full steam ahead. And we're cr fucking crushing it." And it did not have the reaction that I think Dan Hauser was expecting, which was pretty universally everyone who's ever worked a job going, What the fuck, man? A hundred hour weeks? I think there's 165 there's hours. Or, or anyone who's worked in the industry going, Yep. I believe... Yeah. I believe there are 168 hours. Pat, right. that 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 reaction of shock and awe is not one of shock and awe to people who know this industry. It's still fucked, dude. There are 168 hours during the week total. Let's assume they slept for eight hours a night. That is minus carry the two. Uh. Look, the point is Math has always the, been the point has always water. been the same, which is um, there's data, there's actual research data that has talked about this for a long time now. Crunch doesn't work. Crunch makes pe people work, work bad, work worse, less. like not not work less, but yeah, work bad, right? And like you, and basically, like there's a point where once you're doing well over double a normal work week. You're just not getting results anymore. You're getting people spending time doing things that they could have done twice as fast if they were actually not like exhausted. So my favorite reaction is from people in the industry saying, why are you bragging about how badly you mismanage this? Yes, that's the main like, thing. Yeah. There's there's crunch is almost inevitable for any sort of project, but like 100 hours doing is, for weeks. For, is is actually too much, and it's not like this is Red Dead Redemption came out like two three years ago. It came out like five plus. I should mention I just did the math. Uh, this is an average of a fourteen hour day, seven days a week, for what appears to be a month, maybe two months. That for every employee, not every employee, but like yeah. a good portion of. So them. a fourteen hour day. My uh, plus eight hours of sleep leaves you two hours a day for the entire period to do literally every other thing you need to do in your life, which is not possible. Therefore, the sleep must suffer, which means that you are actually just actually going into people's houses while they sleep and yelling at them to wake up. You know, we've told stories about people sleeping under their desks in, in certain well, studios. I mean, you get more hours if you don't have to go you, home to sleep. Like, like, there's triple shifts that I, that have happened in, in, in the QA trenches before that in places I've worked where, like, motherfuckers are just, like, like not even co like awake anymore, but their, like, eyes are open and tears are coming out. And you know. they're, like, technically on the clock making hours. And, uh, you know, the, the fact remains that it's like, yeah, Every every hour over forty that you get basically is going to be like you could you could have overtime up to a point, but like if you go, I think it's like twenty hours over. So if you get to like sixty, that's the limit at which point you're not getting like, meaningful work anymore. Think about it this way: how much time has to be spent fixing the mistakes of people who are on hour eighty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, and they were literally just 
um, uh, zombie. I, and now, you know, like, now there's there's always a really uh, this is like this is something I've seen at each every single company I've worked at. Right? There's a obviously a point we hit where some employees in the department are great for overtime they love it they want to work as much as possible because they're saving up or whatever yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like yep sign me up for every shift all the time forever yeah there's always and like what like there's always maybe three people ever that will do that right the people that are just like yeah good old reliable you know like johnny overtime in the corner Johnny's right? gonna do 12 <laughs> hours a day until he dies that's what um, he wants to do then there's those times where it comes in and goes all right guys you know what it is it's crunch but we need this many people for this many shifts over and then there's those Weeks where, hey, we don't have enough people. Then you get the awkward dance of go get people for overtime, but also legally you cannot force anyone to work overtime, Yeah, but we need it. So what you do is you play this little game where you talk about things like being a team player and really pushing through for the, for the art and all this fucking buzzword nonsense. One bullshit. of the places, one what? of the places, it was as simple as, "Hey, you see that wall over there? Your face is on it. That means you're on the team. That means you come in tomorrow. There's a chance your face might not be there, depending on how familiar you are with the project. Spending more time with it is pretty the, good for your face being on the wall that gives you money." The best way I've had it said to me is. Well, I think it was said to the team, not to me directly, but I was like sitting there along with everyone else. It's like, well, who who can do overtime? Like me. Okay, we would need more than that. No one's saying anything. He's like, because this will really help us factor in who will be on the next project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that could mean a couple of things. A lot that of could things. mean I'll be on that project over there, but this team right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe there'll be another project just for them. And maybe you'll be on it. Maybe you get moved around. Or maybe that's thinly veiled saying you're fired. You're an expert. No, maybe not fired, but this will be written down on like your 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 profile, whatever, your file. Matt Patton saying, like, Lee, will not like does not contribute. Matt overtime. Patton Woolley don't want to do OT. Okay, hold on. Let Never. me write you down on the list of people who don't like to work hard on their projects. And you know, and sometimes and never it doesn't always shape up that way because sometimes there'll be like all right, so this night shift is you got your your whatever your uh, per diem covered, got your dinner covered, and we're putting a uh, whatever Snow bonus cone maker inside the office. Then they, they put a bonus for the shift. You get uh, an extra bonus or time and a half or whatever the fuck you know, and then they'll put they'll put incentives in there in some cases, but depending on who or what's in charge. But it's, it's but it's beer Fridays. It's not always that friendly. At one of the places, it was friendly enough it's, to have beer Fridays. Beer Fridays, though. The, Go get your beer yeah. and then get back to work. So uh, okay. there's been an update on this story. There though. is a statement. There's a st- they asked uh, okay. Hauser. Yeah. And uh, well, there's there's definitely this one, and then let me let me see here because I was gonna say, the I was gonna say it's like I had the feeling that he might just even be. Saying that to make the game look more impressive. So there seems does, to be some. That conf- is a Hauser thing. That is it, right. It's very Rockstar. Uh, when Kotaku will last elaborate, Rockstar sent over a statement, also attributed to Dan Hauser. There seems to be some confusion arising from my interview with Harold Goldberg. The point I was trying to make in the article was related to how the narrative and dialogue in the game was crafted, which is mostly what we talked about, not the different processes of the wider team. After working on the game for seven years, the senior writing team, which consists of four people. Uh, Mike Unsworth, Rupert Humphreys, Laszlo, and myself had, as we always do, three weeks of intense work when we wrapped everything up. Three weeks, not years. We'd all worked together for at least 12 years now, and I feel like an, this needs to get, get everything finished. Uh, after so many years of getting things organized and ready on this project, we need to, to check and finalize everything. More importantly, we obviously don't expect anyone else to work this way across the whole company. We've seen some senior people who work very hard and purely because they're passionate about a project or their particular work, and we believe their passion shows how shows in the game as we release. But that additional effort is a choice, and we don't ask or expect anyone to work anything like this. Lots of senior people work in entirely different ways uh, and are just as productive. I'm not one of them. I'm just not one of them. No, no one, senior or junior, is ever forced to work hard. I believe we go to great lengths to run a business that cares about its people and make the company a great place for them to work. Mm-hmm. So he's saying that the comment was out of context, and he's referring to just him and his small team of three. Uh, you know what I heard? What's up? <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, yeah? We would never encourage people to work hard and 
Uh, it's such, I, I never it's fuck, people. such fucking bullshit. I mean, like, if this is the case, then that's if that's the case, and that's the case. I'm still telling you that uh, from the pla from where I worked, and from the places, and from what I've seen, like it's still absolutely a problem that happens I, uh, in every facet of the industry. Like the the part that really swung it towards me is like some people choose to stay and work hundreds of hours a week because they're really passionate about the project. And you know what I can see in my mind? I can see a guy walking out into the office go, listen, I thought we were all really passionate about Red Dead. I, you know, I guess Matt here doesn't want his OT because so he's not passionate about it. There's only, only worked in one place where we were side by side with the developers. You can just walk around the corner and you can actually see them making the game. And I, I don't know about you, but I distinctly remember me and like, 30 testers are there on a weekend the game's about to come out and you go to the 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 the, the dev side and there'll be like one two computers on that's just idos and that was for like deus ex and during the regular work weeks there'd be tons of people and every chair would be filled and that's how that company seemed to do it, at least from my memory but it's like rockstar i've heard for years how it's like well they Poorly managed problems. Let's well, the, well, the, well the, de the dev side too was based on the fact that like they had a system of um, punching hours whenever you want yeah. up until I think like 11 p.m. So let's, as long uh, as you're getting your work done, you're on salary. Let's right? remember that uh, Rockstar allowed and may have encouraged Team Bondi and McNamara to fucking run that those people into the ground for L.A. Noir. Which caused the There's studio that. to just fucking disintegrate that afterwards. That did happen to L.A. Noir. Right. And um, Rockstar has had lots of people coming out over the years saying, like, I have to work so much, I don't see my family, I'm going to die. So there's been... Yeah, like, no, it was EA that, that had that EA, it's the EA games. spouses yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. but, I mean, uh, they're all complicit. You know, they're, they're, we, we, not too long ago, talked about the, uh, the Karoshi report coming out of Japan, uh, which is basically overwork death because they there was, like, actual people in offices and like cases of people that die right there was one particular mm -hmm. one that sparked a pretty big outrage about overworking because um the culture of overtime is one where like it's super praised and expected that you stick around as yeah, late as Japan, possible it's and considered stuff. Like, like you're doing your job are you working hard are you yeah yeah <laughs> why are you working yeah. hard <laughs> um but like it can definitely get to that point here as well and i feel like the there's times when you're like, hey, why don't you do what's right for your body and not fucking work until you're collapsing? Mm -hmm. And sometimes people that are just kind of like panicked and really need the job, I've seen on the test floor be like, I fucking have to. I like I, I can't I'm broke or I can't I don't have a choice here and they will put their health yeah. in harm's way. And like just like you said that you seen like you seen QA testers like I have too of like that guy that's always like yeah I'll do it I'll do I'll do those hours and whatever like he, he has no problem he seemingly has no problem with it for whatever his motivations are I'm sure on the dev side there's like even more people like just because the the actual dev team is bigger than the QA team would be perhaps yeah uh, that you can say like maybe a dozen people or be like fuck it I I I really want to do it I'll believe that but I. Don't believe that Rockstar is like, oh, you don't, you just want to do sixty hour. Okay, cool. Like, I don't Problems. believe that. Especially Listen, towards the we're the project. we're making the biggest game in the world here. Don't you want to make it matter? Yeah. Like, I can fucking feel it. It just, it just, it, it, it's, it's more than that. It's just the fact that, like, it doesn't matter how much data exists that says crunch is ba a bad idea and it doesn't work. It's. The, it's that video game development is a prop. It's a process by which mistakes snowball. So something that, snowball real bad. So a mistake early on in the production process becomes months on the back end, and by the time you catch that snowball, you can't really slow it down. So you just have to throw man hours at it, mm -hmm. and like every day that something is is late or off schedule or every week that goes by will snowball into its own little thing cuz co now costs are going up pay like employee everything is going up cost of game cost of development everything is just snowballing up. you're affecting other departments with that problem the other problem and 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 oh, sorry, the right. early pre-production phase unless you have like competent people <laughs> putting together that part of it 
there are going to be mistakes which are always going to lead to Unavo- this. And there's like things uh, like unseen, unforeseen things are unavoidable. Like the engine fucking just broke or... Oh, the not, engine took a shit is a big one. Like we're not getting the <laughs> proper documentation. One. We don't know how to... Like there's the things and then it's like crunch has to happen and it's like no one's really... The, uh, in, but. We're putting in a new system. <laughs> yeah. The other fun part and that leads to... Uh, helps exacerbate this problem is that, as Willie described, having competent people managing your project is a must to avoid problems and delays. However, if you have incompetent people who manage it poorly and thus end up causing delays, it is on those very same incompetent people to implement Crunch or not. So if the people running things are doing their job properly and know that Crunch is bad and will try to avoid it, great! If they're the type of people who need crunch, they're the type of people to go to crunch as soon as they can. Go to crunch. Because we need that we need to solve it. Oh no, everything right? Like it's self fulfilling. Yeah, but the producer who fucked up in the process or or the designer that fucked up in the pre production process, or the dev, or the engine in the engineer, like or the net code guy, whoever it was, like as this rolls out, um, the same people that are then going to implement that crunch are doing so because, like, if this doesn't work out, then they're not going to have that position next time around. It's unfortunately self, like, you know, self fulfilling. The person who makes the mistake gets to make the decision. You got to clean up your mess, and but you all cl- of you have to but, clean up my. But mess the mop too. is is humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I all mean, right. uh, I don't know how, like. You guys mentioned things were better at Idos, but that might because be because of Quebec labor laws. It just happens. No, no, no. Right? It's always it's always better um, at when you're doing um, in house as opposed to outsourcing. Right. Outsourcing but is just always more like, of a fucking uh, revolving and it door. might be different in the states. And I sure as fuck know that it's different in Poland. I'm not sure exactly how because this exact story happened two three weeks ago with CD Projekt, and we didn't even cover it because their statement was takes a lot of hours to make games. Does suck su- it? Suck incorrect. Uh, like, Glory to Aristotle. Like they don't, they don't <laughs> give a shit about like people like rolling their eyes. At Takes them many crunch. hours to make games. Let me see your papers, please. I think, yeah. Jesus Christ, right? Or like it's, it's uh, what was it? it's hard work making games, and we only want people here who work hard. I think was like the paraphrase of their statement, and it's like mm, okay, work smart, not hard. How about that? No, that's stupid. Yep. Even though you said smart. Yep. 